Let's go thrifting. It's Sunday. It's been a few days since I've been here, so let's pop in and see what's on the shelves of Am Vets. I really like this cow bowl. Two forty-eight. That's cute. I love the colors into it. Got a nice vase here. This one was Big Lots, three ninety-nine. Let's see what they have on it. A buck ninety-eight. Got some pumpkins. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love these little felted creatures. Have you seen them? I have in my collection a few vintage ones that I've found along the way. This is a cat. It just needs a little, uh, you know, just a quick day surgery, a little nose repair. And then so a cat and a mouse in the same bag. You know what? It worked out okay. They're home now. The nose has been repaired. And um, anyway, they're living their best life. I wondered if that was glass, but I think it's a like a plastic bottom of that swan. This is swan. Got some ducks. Oh, this color, like this aqua color is so nice. Made in England. Love that two-tone. And then of course I see this aqua piece whoa so beautiful i'm like yep this this is like original chippy this ain't fake chippy 898 made in italy that's a beautiful aqua basket and the handle has survived which is a miracle got a statue here i think that was 698 i'm gonna check out this mask it is porcelain ceramic, two ninety eight. By the way, the doll with no pants is now fully clothed. I don't know what happened, but it's all good in that section. I knew these were Linux before I turned it over because it's that cream color with that gold. It always gives it away. Linux has such a particular look to it. Let's pop in the glass section here. Um, it was, that, that was a very big vase, and I'm like, is that one piece? This here, I think that's one of the, I can't tell. I don't know. I think this might be a glued on. Uh, what do you think? I think this might be a tray glued on. I don't think that's an original piece like that. Tell me what you think. Uh, I always love these big, like the big glass stoppers. I don't know. Just something so cool. And mesmerizing about the big glass stoppers they've got this new section over here oh my gosh look at this combo got the blue and the orange going on oh my goodness these flowers are gorgeous so that piece is 398 that's the sugar i'm guessing that's the creamer it did have a crack on it, and I'm guessing maybe that's why they had it for $1.98. But you can see the crack goes into the inside. I think the teapot, what was it, seven? Yep, seven for the teapot. Beautiful. And then we've got the plates, $1.98 a piece. You know, I found these cups separate so many times, and I'm wondering if this is the actual set they go with. Those cups don't have any flowers, but it does look very similar. So I'm not sure if it's the same set or very close. This was interesting. I've never seen a teapot warmer like this before. It looks old. And I'm guessing you, um, I don't know, keeps your teapot warm. Cloves. Ooh, look at you over here at the end of this in end cap. Mr. Rooster. He looks ceramic. 398. Believe it or not, there's a big there's a lot of people who collect roosters. They have a big following. So even though this one is resin, um, it's very light. I do like how rustic, just wood look it has to it. You know, very down to earth colors. So sit with me. I loved critters. We're going to put that bunch together. Oh, just love this plate. You know, somebody else loved it too. They took the time to glue it. It broke. Unless somebody broke grandma's 
good dishes and then tried to glue it back together. I like to think it was sentimental. Something happened and um, they thought, no, I've got to keep this plate in my collection. So go either way. But that mossy green was beautiful. This cup has been hanging out for a bit. S for Sonia. It's calling me. But I've got enough mugs, okay? I've got enough mugs. I have enough mugs that I can like pick a different mug for every day of the week. And I love my mugs. Hmm. Are you seeing anything? I think that's a Bath and Body Works candle holder. That's a pretty one. Two ninety eight. I just picked up a bunch of clear glass ones. These were cute. So you can actually, I've painted them, not snowmen, but um, I've done flowers on mine. You get the candles, you can buy them in all kinds of colors, including white. These have obviously turned colors. Um, they probably sat for a while, but nobody burnt them. They were a pure decoration. So that's a really fun project. You can go to the dollar store, you're gonna get those tall candles that look just like that, and then paint whatever you want onto them. Really cute. Somebody out there is getting ideas right about now. I like the treasure uh, chest shape of this guy. This is a pretty, at first I thought it was a vase, but looks to be some sort of, um, maybe for a lamp. I think there's a, is that a second one there? A mishmash. It's a lot to take in. And I'm not mad about it. Are you mad about it? Not me. Just kind of using my gut, seeing what sticks out. And ha ha, I hit on something. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to grab these. Those are really cool. I just love the ombre color. They've got this like little gold. Um, I actually picked these up and I've already looked them up and it says that they're vintage party light. I just love them because they're just gorgeous. They look so, so sweet. Look at that. Oh, love that. So yeah, and the pair was there. So when you see two, it's a miracle they both survived. Grab them. I didn't need the candles though. So I'm gonna leave those behind because I sell candles and those candles, well, you know, maybe somebody else could use them, but I just don't need them. So I stuck those back in two other um, candle holders for the next person behind me. And I let them know up front that, hey, I didn't need the candles. I stuck them in other holders. Are you cool with that? And they're like, yep. So maybe it'll give somebody else, you know, perspective of when you come here. You just see one like that. But the moment you step back and you see it with a candle holder, and you're like, oh my gosh, I need that. That brings it to life. Let's find another one right up here in this space boom bada bing all right it's like you got a big flag now somebody will see you and adopt you now i'm gonna run over here oh look at this frame textured frame oh this so we're in the photo frame section it was very luscious it reminded me of like something you know very gothic if you're doing any sort of vampire um, decorations, you know, for Halloween. That could be cool. Also love this. So I definitely picked this up. This is a home co, um, resin plastic piece, old vintage, and I can't keep these again, very Gothic. Just a lot of people who love whimsical cottage core, grandma core. Um, yeah, all the above. So I can only find one, but I grabbed it for a couple bucks. This is the crafty bits. We're gonna take a stroll through here because you never know what you'll find. The DIYer crafty, you know, thrifter and me. By the way, I love that fabric with the um, sparkles, really nice. So I th when I come through here, I mean, I, I don't have time to pull at a sewing machine or anything, but I'm looking for, do I see a bit of fabric that could make a really cool, like for a display in the shop, for a backdrop? for a table or to use it as a uh, tablecloth. Tons of wool. Oh, buttons. Bag of buttons. 
Somebody collected a ton of buttons. Maybe they sewed and they used this button a lot. Four ninety-eight. Get you a bag of ivory cream colored buttons. Not sure what this is. Maybe a decoration of some sort. Plastic bits. Hmm. There's a paintbrush in there. There's styrofoam balls in there. Sewing thread. Oh, I like that little tie-dye. More ribbon. Scissors. I always enjoy looking through the bag section. It's just randomness. I think that might be a crochet kit. Or at least a lot of, a bunch of it is there. We got some wall borders. There was a time when wall borders had their heyday. All kinds of signs here. I do like to do a little pick though because you just don't know what else is hiding. I think that's a fondue set. I don't think anybody used it. I need this. Literally, this is what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> Queen Bee. I think that's a hot plate. I don't think it's a cutting board. What do you think? Some button art. All the signs. Jewelry box. That could be a project if you need a jewelry box. You can always find those at thrift stores. Yeah, they might be a little hairy. You're probably going to need a good deep clean. But hey, if you got time for it and you really need it, you can get some real good deals out here. Then we have the metal section. I'm like, ooh, these are good for the season ahead. The holly berries. We're not going to talk about that just yet, though. We're just going to talk about fall, not what comes after fall, okay? I like this leaf acorn bowl dish tray. Didn't have a tag, but it was nice. I had to see what was in this thing. It looked like a paint can. I think it's just all envelopes, like little tiny mini cards and envelopes. Oh, that's pretty. Little tin. So sweet. What do you think was in there? Those are nice candle holders in the back there. Got some pretend dried fall foliage. Oh, I like him. I wonder what this was for. It's just plastic. It's very lightweight. The, um, you know, what would you call it? The deer? Is that a deer? His antlers are, with the antlers, um, it's not really stuck on there. It's a very light piece. I don't know what that was. Or maybe you used it as part of cake decorating. And it was a prop that you would frost over. These are my best guesses. This guy was a little wonky. He wanted to lean backwards. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. The wire section is like the puzzle section. Because you're like, what did you belong to? What was your job? This was so pretty. I took a moment with this tray to appreciate it. A buck forty-eight. Judging by the, the uh, hardware on it there on the side, I think this is a vintage tray. It's beautiful. All the flowers. Oops. I think this guy was supposed to have something that props it up. And I like this design. 
really pretty. We've arrived. We've docked with all the other boats here with the gravy boats. This was nice. To be to picking this guy up. Sugar. Very cute. I like that color. It looks like we have a bunch of coasters or hot plates in there. Shout out to Hufflepuff. Looks like that was somebody's art piece. We got some coasters. Ceramic bottom. I think there's probably supposed to be a lid with it. I like this sign. Rise and grind. Truth. Every morning I do that. Bring on the coffee. A little placemat. 